So today I'm going to show you how to make the, this bracelet called the crisscross single braid bracelet. And you can try out very cool color combos with this bracelet and I hope you enjoy it. This bracelet um, was not completely invented by me. The placement of the bands is the same as the one in the crisscross over braid which was invented by Justin's Toys but the hooking is different. So this is my own bracelet, okay, and this is the other side, it's reversible, and this is Justin's Toys bracelet, this is, the, this is one of the sides, and this is the other side, so as you can see, these two sides of um, the different bracelets are the same, because the placing of the bands is the same, but the hooking is different, so yeah, what you're going to need is your loom in the aligned format so that it forms a rectangle, and you're going to need as many colors as you want and a hook and C clip. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take one rubber band of your perimeter color. So my perimeter color is going to be black. And you're going to stretch it from this bottom three pegs across like that. And you're going to push this rubber band down to the space for more rubber bands. And now you're going to take the first color of your inside pattern so mine's red and you're going to start from your left form a cross of sorry go diagonal and again from the right side go up diagonal all the way across to the left forming a cross now you're going to take the, your next color rubber band and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to make a cross like this. Okay. Then you're going to take your next colored rubber band. Sorry, one minute. Yeah. And stretch it across. And your next color, and you're just gonna do this all the way up till the end of your loom. So now, as you reach the end. You're going to put another cross like that over there. So, take your color rubber band and place it across. And, oh, sorry, actually, you need to um, take those off first. Wait, no, sorry, I made a mistake. I'm just used to transferring, so that's why. Yeah, okay, so you do it like that. Then you're going to take a, um, then you're going to start placing your perimeter colored bands. So your loom should look like this. You're going to go back to the beginning, take your perimeter colored band, mine's black, and place it all the way up like so. You just continue up your loom till the end. Then you go back to the beginning and you do the exact same thing on the right, on the left side. Okay, so now I'm placing my last rubber band up. Now what you're going to do is you're going to create a cap band. You're going to take one rubber band, put two fingers through, twist it into the figure eight, put it back upon itself, and then place it stretching all over these last three pegs like that. Okay, now you have to push this down and we're ready to start looping. Make sure your loom is turned around so that the red arrow is pointing towards you and the little openings are like on the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in to the left peg. Okay, wait, let me turn it to side view. Okay, push back this cap band. Grab this black rubber band 
and hook it up where it first came, like that, so creating this teardrop shape. Then do the same thing on the right side, like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go in to this band, sorry, peg, and grab the green rubber band in my case. And instead of putting it back there, we're going to put it here, like so. Okay, and then you're going to go back inside, take the um, next green nerve band, and hook it forward like that. Okay, so you're going to now you're going to go into this peg, hook the black band forward like so, and on this side, the black band forward. Now this is a little complicated but it should be easy if you can understand it properly. So what you do is you go all the way inside and you grab this blue rubber band, the most bottom one, you unhook it. Now I have an extra hook but you can use something else too like you can just hold it. So I'm going to show you two methods. I'm going to hold it in my first method. So you're just going to hold it okay then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the both the rubber bands on this peg and you're gonna stick your hook through and then you're gonna lay this rubber band on that okay so like so and then you're gonna pull that rubber band through not grabbing any of the other rubber bands it's like so and hook it going forward like that and you're going to do the exact same thing on the right side so go in grab the bottom blue rubber band okay now you can also use another hook for example just put it on your finger for now and put it onto another hook and then go through this green bit stick your hook out then take the green rubber band, sorry, the blue rubber band, and rest it on that. And then pull it through. Now it's fine the rubber band that you pull through those two green rubber bands gets twisted. It's absolutely fine. It really doesn't matter. And now you're just going to continue this process. So I'll show you one more time. You hook the black rubber band on the left side forward and on the right side too like that then on the left side you go through you've got the bottom most rubber band pull it through I'm going to use a finger method because I find it the easiest way so we're going to pull it through and put your hook through these other two rubber bands grab hold of that blue rubber band, twist it. Oh, should I let go? One minute. Okay, pull it through so it forms like that and hook it in the center peg. Sorry, my camera just turned. Okay, yeah. Now, I'm do the same thing on the right side. Go through. Wait, sorry, hold it. Stick your hook through. And make sure you're only sticking your hook to through um, through two rubber bands, not all the way through that third one to just two. Or else your bracelet will go wrong. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab that one blue rubber band. Once you've grabbed it, you can let go. And you're gonna hook it forward now as you can see this rubber band I don't think you can see it on camera but it's becoming a little bit white because it's getting stretched a lot so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hook aside just pinch it and just pull it a little bit so that the elasticity becomes even and then you're gonna go and do the exact same thing again and again all the way till the end of your loop 
once you reach the end of your loom, I will tell you what to do. So I'm going to fast forward from here, but you can pause the video and um, take your own time in doing this. The end, it's the exact same thing. You just hook the black wire band forward on the left and do the exact same thing on the right. Then take the red rubber band, hold it there, and stick your hook through, grab that red rubber band, pull it through, and then hook it forward like that. Do the same thing. Like so. And now, you're just going to be having this thing, as you can see over here. Okay, so what we're going to do is, sorry, make sure that's still at the bottom. And we're going to bring all of these rubber bands in to the center like that and the right side too and you have to make sure that you don't let go of any rubber bands oh shoot I did this wrong never mind okay that placing was actually a waste I guess I just did it wrong so just take another black rubber band Stick it through that one channel, and don't go into that black black rubber band. And put the black rubber band on the hook. I don't think you can really see it. Okay. Then twist it, pull it back through, and there we go. Okay. And now what you're going to do is we are ready to take this off of our loom. So I like to take mine off of the back like you all know. So I'm going to put my other hook in here so I can use my hook to take it off. Okay, one minute. Okay. So. Um. Yeah. Now it's time to take it off. Okay, so you dip it your loom side now, and so you should get something like this. Now, one or two of these rubber bands might be really, really loose, so just stretch it to get it into shape like that. And I have another orange one that's loose, so just stretch it, and it should come. And some might be twisted like that, so get hold of that cap fan and just stretch okay now of course this is not at all big enough to fit our wrist so what we're going to do is we are going to make an extension and we're going to set that aside for a moment so you need your loom again and I need around 9 rubber bands for that because it's actually much smaller than the other ones. Usually I only take 7, but for this one I think I'm going to need 8 to 9. So first I'm just going to place 8. And if I need more I can always add later. But it really depends on your wrist how many you're going to need. So yeah. Okay, and that is my last rubber band. 
Now you're going to turn your loom around. Okay, and you're going to take this cap band off the bracelet and you're going to place it from the peg that you left off on onto the next peg. So it looks something like that. Then you're just going to hook normally. It's a normal hooking. Create, and you're going to create teardrop shapes as you go along. And it's like any regular bracelet, almost. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your C-clip. Hold on, I have to take mine out for a minute. Just one minute. So you're going to take your C-clip and you're going to attach it to both sides of this um, rubber band so that your extension doesn't come out just put it on like that I know my camera is sort of blurry but it doesn't matter okay and now you can take your extension off of your loom okay now you can just set your loom aside so you should get an extension like this the lighting doesn't exactly show the black does it now you can see it wait let me get a piece of paper to cut so you can see the black okay now you can see it okay so your extension should be something like that and you're gonna go to this side though with the hook on now you can see two sides of the band you're gonna slip some um, two fingers through that and then take the other end of the C-clip and attach that. Oops. Okay. So there is your um, bracelet. And yeah, so the thing is with this one, I made it actually the crisscrosses like those one I made one color and the other one would be a different color that's how this pattern came out but for this one um, each cross was same so it didn't really come out different so you can see like one different so yeah you can try out different designs and I hope you like that tutorial please comment um, rate and subscribe and you can actually use transfer for this bracelet um, so that you don't need an extension like this one I transferred. This is Justin Toy's bracelet. Also check out his tutorial. It's pretty cool. I like this bracelet a lot. And yeah, so if you want me to make one with a uh, transfer, then just um, comment below and I'll make one. Thank you.